the center has for the first time disclosed that the NSNIM has dropped its original demand of sovereignty and that this and other major issues have been recorded in its 2015 framework agreement between the rebel group and the union government. Both the center and the NSCNIM have been silent on the content of the framework agreement until now. Union Minister of State for Home Kiran Rijiju told reporters in Guwahati on Saturday that the NSCNIM has dropped its demand for sovereignty and some more serious issues that were part of its agenda. These and other such understanding that had been reached led to the signing of the framework agreement. See, many people do not understand the framework agreement we had signed in 2015. Even the then Congress chief ministers also unnecessarily questioned. The Naga peace talk has been going on for a very long time. So we have said that we will go by concrete timeline. But before that, we need to have some kind of understanding, some kind of uh, framework on the basis of which the talk will progress. So a framework agreement was signed. There, the issue of sovereignty and some more serious issues, which were there, part of their agenda, these were dropped. Rijiju said it was also made clear in the framework agreement that the Naga peace talks would progress within the framework of the Constitution of India and that it was agreed that the unique history of the Nagas was to be recognized. The framework of the Constitution of India, the talk will progress, that was the framework agreement. And the framework agreement stressed that the unique history of Nagas are being recognized. Rijiju said the talks were progressing smoothly and that a solution would be found during the current tenure of the Narendra Modi government. It's going on smoothly. We are progressing with absolute clarity and we are monitoring the progress of the talk. The Prime Minister came to Twensang. He had made announcement that in our time, we will give a result of the Naga talk which is going on and this will not have any kind of adverse repercussion to Assam, Arunachal and Manipur. Bureau Report, Northeast Live.